safe and it's not like, it's not our fault. And we're consistently told like, take self-defense classes, learn how to do this. Um, this morning, one of the MPs was saying how she changes her shoes so she can be in shoes that can, she can run in. Those type of things and like that we're supposed to protect ourselves and we don't really finish that sentence. Who are we protecting ourselves from? did everything that you're told to do it's like it's walking down it's a real it's a quite a main road that road next to it. it's not not like she was walking down a little back alley anywhere it's a it's a busy road it's well lit she was on the phone to like on the phone to her boyfriend like wearing bright clothes it was it was like half past nine at night it's not even late She was just trying to get home and then to have a, a, the original guidance be like, not go out after dark. And like, this is not okay. We're adults and we deserve to be treated with the respect. We like, we should be able to go home. We should be able to jog when we want. We should be able to live our lives fully and not in fear. Looking at Twitter and you're seeing so many women talk about their stories and just how they've had to change their whole way of living for years. And it literally goes back years and years and years and nothing has changed. The women getting blamed for what they're not doing, the things they're doing wrong, what they should have done, what they could have done, rather than looking at the actual causes of the rapes and the murders, which is the men raping and murdering them. It's not the women, is it? The one thing that I have seen that has been really good is the amount of men who've come out and said, I never even considered this. Like, I should learn about it, I think. And I always think a lot of people don't realise not to walk behind somebody or not to... Not that they're doing it on purpose, but I think people just genuinely don't realise that someone else is, could be quite scared by that. who's been arrested is a serving Metropolitan Police Officer is both shocking and deeply disturbing. I recognise the significant concern this will cause. I think it's sad that something that could have been really beautiful and peaceful and respectful was allowed to turn into this violent kind of mess that didn't help anyone and was completely unnecessary. I think the Metropolitan Police have woefully mishandled it. They should have sat down uh, with those women's organisations who are not exactly a lawless mob. They are just women who want to call attention to this awful situation. We need proper action taken and we need it taken now. 